Today's video is made possible by our good friends at Simply Safe. Gentlemen, welcome back to the homestead. A big day today. We have broken ground on the new shop and we're getting set up for concrete. I've got to move a bunch of gravel uh, and we've got a whole bunch of other fires to put out. So I thought I'd bring you along. Let's uh, take you over. I'll show you the cut. Um, the forms are going up and well, we'll see where it takes us. Yeah, you may notice that this is not by my shop like it was supposed to be. That's a whole nother story, but let's go take a look at what the guys did and then we'll get to work on our part. Here we have the batter boards and forms set up for a ridiculously over-engineered 40 by 40 steel building shop. I don't know what this was designed for, maybe to survive the apocalypse, but when we include these footings, there is 50 yards of concrete in this 40 by 40 slab. That's a lot of concrete and the rebar plan, goodness. The guys just started tying the rebar. These are for the footings alone. This thing is built like a municipal bridge. I'm of course acting as the GC on this job. Uh, so I'm not doing the concrete or, um, or the steel work. I'm, I've got iron workers doing that, but I'm got, I've got to go get the gravel. So let's go over and get the skid steer. It's on the other lot, um, get it brought over here and then start moving. We have a bunch of gravel to move. Rather than fool around with the trailer, I think I'll just, road it over here. It's only about a mile away. Battery's dead. What's the chance that this little NOCO GB40 will start a diesel up? This is kind of professional homeowner grade, not contractor grade. Oh goodness, that battery is buried deep in there. Well, I got the, po that's not too bad. We got the positive right here where we can get on it. Let's see if we go here and then we can ground to the frame. All right. We are boosting. Let's give it a go. Ha-ha! This is very aggravating. Brand new machine. I think it's got maybe 100 hours on it. The control panel won't show any of the engine functions and it won't go. It started but when I try to disengage the brake, nothing. I just got off the phone with Cat, uh, talked to their service guy. We'll see how uh, well the legendary Cat service uh, takes care of this. It's kind of a problem because I've got to move all that rock uh, to get prepped for concrete. The guys are gonna be uh, wanting to put the, lo the rock in tomorrow at 6.30 and I've got to have all that in there. So I'm waiting to call back from the tech and hopefully they can get this sorted out. But I'm not gonna count on, I'm gonna run out of time. So I think the best thing we should do, I head over, uh, we'll bring the excavator over there and we'll just have to load it and move it up with the excavator instead. It's 1.30, I haven't heard from the tech. He was supposed to call back, I've waited for about 20 minutes. So I'm, I don't see it happening. Let's just head on back and we'll just load with the digger. Strike that. Just got off the phone with the cat tech. Uh, he told me to pull a particular fuse on a, it's got a system where it, a, a link where it talks to Caterpillar and there's been, they've had some problems with that. So I'm gonna go disable that, see if that fixes it. The cat field tech told me we've got to pull a fuse out uh, to the right or left of the driver's seat. I uh, see that. Ah, oh, that's I got this. I got the side raw. Okay, there's. He said, look for a the, look for the an legend for something that looks like a little remote control car. I see everything but a remote control car. Wait a minute. Is that is that a remote control car right there? The thirty amp. Is that the one? Hmm. Let me 
Yeah, now I've got, now I've got nothing. So what happens if we put that 30 amp fuse back in? That turns something on. Oh, the gauges are back on. So taking that fuse out, putting it back in, it did reset something. Do we have gauges? Oh, we do. Does it move? Let's see. Break. Ha, 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 ha. We even have our backup camera back. Nice. You ever have one of those days when your patience is severely tested? I went to get in the skid steer to take it back and I locked the keys in it. This has a very annoying function that if you, you can unlock it, but if you don't remove the key correctly, when you shut it, it automatically locks itself. So now it's running. I don't have a key. These are the times that try men's souls. While Jack's bringing me a spare key, I guess I'll run down the store and get myself a popsicle. All the kids ate at the popsicles, so ice cream sandwich was all that's left. I did it again. What? I locked the key in it. <laughs> oh. So the circuit board or the computer went out. Oh. And it I wouldn't see that's where you got the fuse panel. Over. It wouldn't move and I did a hard reset and it's working now, so okay. I guess we're good. Uh, would you mind taking this back uh, quad back for me and I'll drive the skids here? Absolutely. All right, gentlemen. I think we are good to go. Locked myself out again. This just happened. All right, good. I may have overloaded my trailer. <laughs> I think the old Ford's uh, doing a wheel stand over here on the well <laughs> it is up kind of a, in a bit of a slope let's see if we can pull through you know what we always say in situations like this well we don't have far to go right famous last words famous last words It's been pretty widely reported that crime is on the rise, especially home invasions, and there's never been a better time to protect your home with a modern security system than now. The Simply Safe system is a really good system because there are no monthly contracts and you don't have to call anyone or a specialist to come in and install it for you. It's offering you 24 seven protection where if you have an alarm go off or you hit the panic button that they'll contact emergency service and have someone coming right away. The installation on it is really a big seller for me because it's so simple. You can order your components online or over the phone and they're going to deliver them right to your door. Everything should be, in most homes, you should be able to install it in about 30 minutes to an hour. No special tools required. This is the keypad, for example. It comes with a really high quality adhesive on the back that you can stick on. You don't have to put screws in your wall. This is a glass sensor, the same thing. It's got really nice stickers on the back. It comes pre-charged, ready to go. You can stick it in the wall. Anyone can do this installation. Simply Safe on home. A great feature of the Simply Safe system is how expandable it is. You can start with a basic system and then you can add on pretty much anything you want. 
cameras, smoke detectors. This is a small key fob that I put on Mrs. W's key ring where if something's amiss and she pulls in, she can hit it and send out a signal to emergency services that there's a problem. The free app is excellent. It ties in perfectly with the system. You can monitor remotely or from a different location. You can even use Audible in your cameras to answer the door. If you're ready to order your very own security system, our friends at Simply Safe have a special going. 20% off of your initial order and your first month for free if you sign up for interactive monitoring and that's less than a dollar a day. Simply go to simplysafe.com forward slash Wrangler Star. Thanks for watching and back to the video. Goodness, that is heavy. It's good to be back in the Miracle Truck. Mrs. W named it the Mir Miracle Truck. I bought this old truck in 2008. Goodness, had a couple hundred thousand miles when I bought it for $4,000 and it has been the best truck. I haven't done it. I haven't done anything to it. I think I replaced the ball joints when I first bought it. But it has been a good truck. I won't load so much next time. Uh, interesting, that uh, dump truck dropped 10 yards. I put a couple scoops on top of it, but just to see the difference. <laughs> it's gonna take a few more trips with the, uh, the old iron bowl. Well, gentlemen, there it is, the last load. I got it all over here. I had to switch to the, the one ton. The poor old miracle truck was laboring pretty hard. Just not heavy duty enough. Uh, I got figured out, you can put a lot of gravel in here just to keep it off the front. I should have known better. I was over or overly optimistic about my lifting capacity. All right, it's late. Let's dump it and get out of here. Oh, you thought we were done? Oh no, look at this. Looks like the irrigation water's in. In too much, flooding my driveway again. We need to go set a head gate. Back in the garden when man and woman fell from grace, the curse was put upon man by God that he would earn his living by the sweat of his brow. God does not lie. Oh goodness, looks like we have a fair amount of water coming in, but we're set too high, we're saturated. So we're gonna have to pull this gate and we'll reset. Maybe down here? Yeah, maybe right in here. First thing, we gotta take out this existing dam. I went to get my muck boots and the dog had ran off with one, so I'm, I'm just gonna have to go all in here. You just can't mince around with this farming business. You gotta just get in and get after it sometimes. All right. I found by, if we can kind of pull it all into the center, it'll kind of, it washes, water will wash it through, hopefully. get out of its way. Yeah, that's the way you do it, right there. Now we need to go reset this down below. 
Oh, we're in the golden hour. The light must just be beautiful in that right now for you guys. Let's do a set right here. I don't think I ever have. Oh yeah, this is a brand. I think this. Well, I think this is a new spot. All right, we're going in. Me and my iron heart. We'll see how tough Japanese denim is here. All right, we gotta. Oh goodness. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta grab it quick because it's water flowing so fast. Farm is not for wussies. Here it comes, right where we needed it. Go all out there and get all that brown down there by the campsite. Oh, the water of life. Well, gentlemen, that's it for me. I got the call, supper's ready, and I am heading in. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you haven't subscribed, I invite you to. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoy these videos. May God bless you and your families. Please keep my family in your prayers, and we'll see you on the next video.